Hey guys, Nugget2804 here. Today we're doing another vlog. We're doing another review, and this review is on the Halo Mega Bloks Brute Lance set. Now, it's already opened because I'd already started another video, but my phone ran out of batteries and the fire the video didn't save. So I already have the brute minor and the brute major already built so brute major is in a tealish color brute brute minor is in a tealish color brute major is in a blue color so we'll take a look at these guys later but we've also got the um brute bodyguard figure which comes in the box right here on the box that is like a cabinet where a figure goes and let's get this guy out of here so we have this guy ready he's in a silverish color we'll take a look at all these figures when we finish the build so also it comes with a another brute miner which I'll build and then the pieces for the actual build itself. So let's just straight. So we've got all the pieces out. This set comes with 130 pieces, and you can clearly see how that shows. So I will see you all when this build is finished. So we have the barricade piece finished and this is really cool because it's a nice addition for your army and it easily stands up, as you can see, easily stands up and uh, yeah, so now we need to build the watchtower, see more. So we have the watchtower built. It's a really cool build. I like it because it's high up and it has these little spikes around the bottom. Yeah, and that's really cool. There's space for one, um, per, like if like some Spartans invaded, they could stand up here. If the brutes are just staying up there, they could stand up there. Any one person can stay up there. Well, two people can stand up there actually, so that's cool. Um, and there's three like of those barriers on each side, not on the back because like they'll place it like this, and then here's the, like the army. They won't be coming around the back. So unless you get like two of these and you want to put one around back, that's fine. But sorry. And um, so it's really cool. I like it. So let's take a look at the minifig. So, we have this cool battle scene happening right now. Let's take the camera. Right there, you can see a little battle scene going on. It's where there is the Brute Major on top of the watchtower. Brute Miner right here behind the barricades. Uh, brute just running in with his Brute Mauler and the Brute Bodyguard. So... Put the phone back. There we go. Let's take a look at all the individual minifigs. And there. Let's take a look at all the figures and all their weapons. So first, we have a Brute Miner. And he has a, a Brute Mauler. Which you get two of in this set. For both of the Brute Miners. And they're like, they have like a big barrel. Standard brute weapon. He is in a tealish colour, which is really cool. Oh, new articulation and a really cool helmet design. I like that. And torso, arm plates, and leg armour pieces. So there's two of them in this um, set. There's, they're both identical. The only thing that you can make them unidentical is if you change their weapons around with other, the other set with the other weapons in the set 
or other weapons you have. So that's them. Then we have the Brute Bodyguard, which is a really cool figure in silver. Comes with a spiker, which I don't have actually now, which is my first spiker. And um, it has the two blades at the front, which is really cool. I like this weapon a lot too. And he comes with the, like, I like this helmet design. It's not as big as the Brute Chieftains, but it's still pretty cool. He comes in a silver, which I think is exclusive. I don't know about that. And it's in this nice silverish color, which it just looks amazing on it. And both of his armor pieces on his shoulders are different. You can see this one has like a little spike to it, while this one's just a normal armor piece. And the same for all of the ones on the legs, they're both the same. Final figure is the Brute Major. He comes with my favorite weapon, the Brute Shot. It's like a grenade launcher. Wait, just let me get him, get it off him. I love this weapon. It's my favorite weapon. Has a nice grenade launcher, a nice knife here, and this big hook on the back. And it, with the old one that I also have back here somewhere, where is it? Here it is. With the old one, with the old version, there was it's normal, but it has the handle on the side. But this version actually has the um handle on the top not on the side so it's much better than before so for that over there definitely still my favorite weapon in halo though and then the actual brute major himself is the same as the brute miner except his underbody if you look at the two of them the underbody of the brute miner is a nice brownish color but the one on the brute major is actually a black color but both of their skins are still the same tannish color and but his armor plating is a rich blue color which I really like for the brute major it goes really well with the black underneath and all of the things in these sets come with the new with the new articulation and leg print the leg armor piece is the same as all of the others so that's the set i really like this set because it comes with a bunch of brutes it comes with a bunch of brutes that is great for building a brute army and it comes with a nice barricade build like the covenant storm lance except that one came with two this one came with one but this one also came with the Watchtower, which is a really cool build. I like it. And it's like a smaller version of that other one. I can't remember what it's called right now, but there was the bigger tower set. It's like a smaller version of that. So, I really like this set. And, yeah, that's pretty much the whole video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will... And it also comes with these terrain pieces that you could stand um, all of these figures on but you can also place them there's a little space on the watchtower terrain to place a figure so, so you could so there's technically space for one two three four five six one two wait let me just count this one two three four five six seven seven figures and then you can just have them standing up normally if you have a flat surface so this one is great for having a lot of spaces to place mini about to place figures so yeah it's really good i hope you enjoyed this video if you did smash the like button down below and i will see you all in the next one bye